Hi everyone. So I think I've finally worked out the technique for uploading images to Facebook and keeping as much detail and sharpness as possible. Now, as we know, Facebook is a great tool for sharing images with your family and friends. But if you're anything like me, you'd have noticed that like whenever you upload an image to Facebook, it's heavily compressed and not as sharp as it looks on your computer. And so today I thought I'd show you this new technique that I've come up with and it works really good even for images that are have the blurred on the background and because that's the compression that really used to annoy me. It was images where you had that beautiful background blur and of course Facebook tries to sharpen that background and doesn't realise that you actually want that blur to stay there. But I find with this technique um, it works 99% of the time for me lately. So here we go and I'll show you how it works. Now one thing I've learned is that Facebook, uh, they support photos that are either 720, 960 or 2048 pixels on the longest side. So that's what we want to start with. So personally I make the image 2048 pixels on the longest side. So if you have a landscape image then make sure the width is 2048 and if you have a portrait image make sure the height is 2048. Now if you do this Facebook won't automatically change the dimension of your image because it's already suitable for their platform which means a lot less compression and a much sharper image. Now understand some people won't be comfortable uploading an image that size with uh, copyright concerns etc. So if you don't like 2048, like I, I don't mind that, then uh, make sure it's at least 960 at the longest. Then once you've resized the image, just uh, look at it at 100% in your editing software and just see if it's sharp enough for your liking. If not, then give it a little bit of a tweak with the sharpening. And then the next trick for me is to use the, um, if you're using Adobe Photoshop, use the save for web option. And this is because it's going to compress the file already. And I think this is one of the main things that I haven't been doing all along. I haven't been saving my image uh, for the web using that function. And so Facebook does it for me and it compresses it very badly at times. So what I do is I like to compress the file as a JPEG and at 70% compression. At the same time I convert it to sRGB colour profile. Okay, so just to summarise what we've talked about in this video and the techniques. Uh, resize your images to 2048 or if you're not comfortable with that size then make it 960 at the longest size. Use the save for web function in Photoshop and save as a JPEG at 70% compression using sRGB colour profile. When you upload it to Facebook sometimes some people's browsers could have a tick that says high quality it's an option that's there on some browsers so if you're given that option then do tick that high quality option as well when you're uploading. If you find you're still not getting the sharpness and clarity that you want in your images and the detail then you can also try to save it as a PNG file. Some people swear by this and personally I just find the JPEGs are good enough but um, do try both of them and see which one you like yourself. And I think you'll find that now when you upload your images to Facebook, they'll be a lot sharper and have a lot more detail. Don't forget, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow our channel if you'd like more photography tips. And hopefully we'll see you again next time.